After we've completed both our title and abstract screening and our full text screening, we can actually export the results of this screening from summary. The first thing we need to choose is the type of export that we want to uh, export. We can choose a docx file, which is a Word document file, a CSV, RIS, or .xml file. Now these three file types are for use when we're trying to import our study citation files into other reference management softwares, such as EndNote, RefWorks, uh, or even Excel. For now, I'm going to demonstrate how to export the results for reporting, which is why I've chosen the .docx file type. I then can choose the screening stage. So for example, I can choose either full text screening or title and abstract screening. I'm just gonna leave at all screening because I'd like to export the screening at each stage. I can then click export. Summary will then take a minute to generate and download your file for you. And here we can see the results of our export. Now this is just some descriptive text to tell you to insert some text pertaining to how you searched and how you selected studies into your systematic review. This is just purely descriptive and uh, exemplar information for a systematic reviewer. What we have here is our Prisma 2020 flow diagram. Now this diagram indicates how many records were screened. So as you can see, we imported 13 studies into our JVI summary project. We excluded nine of these at the title and abstract level. And we thought four of them needed to be retrieved to screen at the full text level. So we assessed all four of these um, based on their eligibility to our inclusion or exclusion criteria. And we excluded two of these because of an ineligible study design. That means two new studies were included in this review and the reports of the new studies were also two. If I had merged my studies and I included a merged studies, these values will be different. If I scroll down even further, again, we just have some exemplary text asking you as the reviewer to um, input some characteristics of the tables. If I was to scroll down even further, we have our appendices that can be included directly into our systematic review. We have the references of all the included studies at title and abstract level and our excluded studies and the reason in which they were excluded.